Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we start, I just wanna say a big thank you to all the new subscribers and all the old ones. We've just gone over the 8K mark, so it's another milestone that Trellifex Custom Paint YouTube channel has achieved. So thank you very much for all your help, guys. I really do appreciate all your comments and feedback on the stuff we're doing on the channel. Now, today's video, we're doing another step-by-step -step, and it is this one on the screen here. I'm using a 10-inch Samson tablet. This is what I'm using to do pinch and pull. It's really nice to work on for your reference. So that's what I'm using. This is like a go with attitude sort of looking back. I've picked this one today because it's got a lot of hair textures in and it's a good one to practice with your brush because you've got different shapes to go for your dagger strokes coming round. She's got like plaited hair coming round. There's some nice soft tones on the face. The actual image size is, this is about 12 inches by 14 inches. And I've projected this up and done a pencil outline on a face. Nice big one to practice. If you can project up quite big your images, they're nice to practice on because it gives you a little bit more room to work when you're airbrushing than going in really, really small. You've got to go really close to get all the tight stuff in. But if you can just blow it up, just gives you a little bit more room to work around and work around the pieces as you go along. So we've got it projected up. The paint that I'm using today is the Wicked Black, which is this one here. That's focusing on that. That's the one we're using, the Wicked. I'll pop it up in the screen at the side now, but that's the one we're gonna be using anyway. And I've done a mix of water and isopropanol. Now the way I mix this, the way I best find it mixes, is to put your water in first, mix that, and then add your isopropanol alcohol after and mix that. Don't do it the other way around. It sort of mixes better first water than isopro. You can use their reducer, which recommends on the back is the 4012. You can use that, but I've not got any 4012. I picked up the isopropanol to mix with FW inks first and thought I'll give it a go with the Wicked and it seems to work. So if you wanted to try it, you can do it. It's your choice. So I'm gonna move the camera in closer. I'm gonna talk you through this today. We're gonna to be using shields, freehand, and some techniques along the way, but I'll talk you through so you can pick up as much as you can. So enjoy the video. Let's get on with the girl with attitude. Right guys, we are good to go. Main airline air pressure coming in and just hook the brush up 20, 22 and we're going to dial that back test on the side little bubble back now running really nice as you can see now we're using the infinity garaudis edition brush now i'm going to talk to you a little bit about this brush as we start we're just going to go in nice and light we're going to start on the eyes so i'm just going to zoom in on this eye drop a bit of paint in so i went on facebook sales and i've seen a lot of these brushes and i mean a lot of these brushes for sale and I know the reason why they're selling them. And I've actually messaged, messaged a couple of people saying, why are you selling it? It's a brilliant brush. Now, the reason why I say this is a brilliant brush is because I've stuck the Evo 2024 trigger in it. And I think that is the only problem while people are selling these brushes is the original trigger. They can't get on with it because of the way the trigger top is. With that little sort of lip at the front, some people can't get on with it. Just coming up the eyebrow, I'm just gonna drop a tone of painting on that. Just put a tone of paint on. Yeah, it's definitely the trigger top what people aren't liking. 
and when you drop the Evo trigger on it, it just completely transforms it, it really does. It makes it a very nice brush to work with. Just using the shield here just to put this separation in. Just in here. And then we've got another little crease, a little bit lower down. So shield again, just puffing a little bit of paint on that. It's got a little bit darker in this corner here. And little creases. Around the top of this here, and then goes dark. So just using the shield over the top. This is how you'll create your sharper lines that you're after. Just going in nice and light, puffing a bit of paint like that, and just work it. We can fade off that. It's working really light. We can use the shield on this piece. Free end in here just to pull a bit of paint in. Just roll a bit of a little bit of a smudge there. Try and get that out with the eraser, but I don't think it will. No, once that's on there, it's on there. Let's just nib over the top with a bit of a Posca paint pen in white cover that up. I think that was off the bottom of the shield. Whenever you use shields as well, that's a little thing right there for you. If you're using your shields quite a lot, just give them a wipe to the side. I usually just wipe these to the side of me as I'm working, and I didn't, and there you go. That's what happens when you don't wipe your shields. If you've got a little bit of dried up, wet paint on it. Kick that eye around there. This is going to go dark here. Just do these little flick outs. Little dagger strokes. Just get these in place. And there's some down here. Just get this part of the eye in. a little bit dark around here using the shield again we just free hand that in might go in with a little bit of black on this as well just to um, pop a few little bits out First eye in. Uh, 
That's the first piece, and we'll do another pass over these, and we'll just put the first pass of these hairs in. Eye, eyebrow hair coming over. Just little dagger strokes, just building it up. Follow the shapes. Nice and light. So yeah, back to the brush. The reason why I think this is a brilliant brush is, with the other trigger in, it's really responsive. And you've got your sort of new 2024 bits on it. You've got the locating chuck to the back. <clears throat> You've got a nice wider piece here. If you're used to the normal Infinity, you've got the little gold band. This one's bigger. The Evo trigger's really comfortable and the body's shorter here. So it really makes you go closer to your work, just makes it feel better. So I think it's a great brush and there's loads of people just getting rid of it and I think, why? Some people are asking way too much money for them, second hand, well, selling them, even though they're brand new. The price is, is like, no. I'll do that little sharp crease there. Just sharpen that one up. These creases in. Round here. Nice and dark in this centre bit. Working around this eye. Coming round. The beauty of painting something bigger, you've got a lot more room to work round. So you're not really closed in. I've just done it again. I've just done it again. I've not wiped the shield. Coming around the bottom. Let's just move this over and have a look at this eye. Around here. Give that shield a little wipe. And drop the eye in. Because this paint's very thin. Go darker on this. Just drop these eyelashes in. Again, little dagger strokes. Just 
fading up there. Drop the eyebrows in. Right, that's the first pass on them bits of the eye. Little bit. And that comes out a little bit more. Right, we'll move down to the nose. Going to puff a little bit more paint here. Up into that piece there. While we're here, we'll drop a bit here and come in round this side, just puffing the paint in, going darker to this edge, just rolling it off. So dark around this edge and then just fading out as it comes to the front. Same here. Darker down this side. Bring it over. Just gonna feather this one out around here. Right, we'll come down to the nose. I'm gonna go straight in on the darks here. I'll get these in place. So work that dark in, work the next one in next to it. Keep an eye on your reference and just start to a little bit of paint here, just around the top of that. Round. Into this centre section here. We can pop the highlight out on that. Bit there. There, and then we can just line this one here. here just a little darker there drop this crease in coming down it's working nice and light there's a little kick on the end so just roll that off You can just do a gradient on that and bring that up. A little bit of shading underneath it. There's a little bit here. A little bit darker there. So that's the pass on the nose in. over the nostril bit here, darken these off. That's that part of the nose done, so we've got that bit in. And we can darken this up. Because we're going in light, we can darken it and darken it up. Just gonna get the Posca paint pen and just dab a little bit over here. Just do two mistakes. Once we get this in, and I add more to it, we will uh, 
we'll sort of disguise them in a bit. Right, we've got a, coming from the ear here, we've got a tone here. So I can bring this in. I mean, we can roll this piece off around the bottom of the jaw now. Coming round. Top some paint up. So just take your time when you do um, stuff like this. Follow your reference. If you can do a bigger image, it's better to practice on because it gives you more room to work with. Always test your paint to your side and wipe your shields down. As I've found out with thin paint, it sits on the Malair shields a little bit wet. And if you've sort of used that angle and then you sort of suddenly flip over and go up to do another one, you've got wet paint on the opposite side. And as you're holding it up, I touched twice on there. So we're just going to go a little bit darker in here, define this line coming down, drop a little bit more here, We've got a new family member. We've got a new puppy. And we've called it Chewbacca from Star Wars. I'll pop you a little image up now in the corner of the screen. This is our new nutty dog. As you can see, all the marks on my arm where it's been biting. Yeah, definitely called it Chewy for a reason. So that's the new addition. I will get it on video so you see it a bit more. It's going to appear more often in some of the videos because I guarantee it'll just want to sit in the studio and watch me paint, follows me around everywhere. So just gone back in on these eyes, just popping a few little bits out there. We've dropped the nose in. We're going to move down onto the mouth. Now we've got some teeth. Just pan that down slightly. We're just going to go straight in on these lips and just start getting some paint in. Just looking at the reference where I see the darks and the lights. That's okay. Right, these teeth we can just sort of buzz around them with the shield just to get them in place. Just sharpen them up, just bounce a little bit of paint off the shield. Just going over the top of them just to knock them back a bit. 
got a bit of a lip here. Mm. a bit darker in here. The corner of the mouth just flicking the brush to the side and fading inwards. That's good. Right, a bit around here. Bottom. You're basically making it sort of like as though it's rolled over. You want the light point at the top rolled off to a dark cut at the bottom. Open this up. And the bottom. Like that, we've got a drop shadow at the bottom here. It sort of goes straight across about there. And just feathers up round. into the thumb area, just drop that round there, comes down here, and rolls around the bottom of the chin. So that's the first pass on the lips in, done, nice and quick. Alright, that's to the reference. A bit darker here. This is the first pass, so this under here will go a lot, a lot darker. Right, we've got the mouth in. I'm going to do another pass around the bottom of this chin. Darken that out. We can move on to the ear next. Right, moving on to the ear. Just gonna drop the earring in. Basically, just a circle 
and we can drop the highlight where there's a highlight on. There's another one here. I'm just going to start to shade and put some paint in here. Following the reference. A bit on here, dark in here. Shading around there, get around the bottom of this here. This is going a lot darker here. Just drop a piece in there now, and up here, around the bottom of the ear. Get it in place. And come up the side of the ear. Just pop that out. We've got a lot of dark around this. Few hairs coming up, I just drop them in place now. Coming round on that hair, just put a few in there while we're here. So we've got the ear pass in. We'll move down now. We're just gonna move over and look at the bit here again because these go up a little bit higher on here bogging a little bit of paint around here this will really set the eyes out when we do the black on the top and just mix the black in over the top of this colour we're going to go over with the FW inks on this and just tone it back. Darken these bits up in the eyes. Mm -hmm. 
It's a little bit darker here. Then. All right, that's that bit. We can move on to. We'll move on to the part of the neck here. We'll just get this bit in. Drop that in. I need to pop that out there. Drop that in now. We can go over with the nice sharp heart because there's a real sharp highlight around the side of the face. And we're just going to line this in with the Posca paint pen and just smooth it out. And we've got a black that comes to this side which will make that highlight pop. Your bright highlights always pop. You've got to have a, a dark, basically, either side of them to make them real bright highlights pop. We've got one here on the face as well. So I'm just going to drop a dark of that side of it. This is just in here. Going back over, darkening things up. Right, we're moving on to the hand, so You've got her nail in her mouth here. I'm just going to drop that in. We'll pop the highlights on this later on. I'm just going to soft shade the top and just pop a little crease there. Just going to tone these back, nice, soft. Around this edge. I've got a sharp highlight under here. So we're just going to come off that. Just in here. Nice and soft. Sort of creating that sort of soft round. We've got a line here. This just soft off this sharper line here, sharper line here. Just using the shields. Working round. Roll that round there on the finger, same this side, a little bit up the side. Bounce this off here.
a little bit darker in there. Bottom of this piece here, so it's going to build that up. Do a really faint line there. Coming down to this piece near the wrist, there's a little crease line on there. Just work a bit of paint in. side, creases in here, just top off that finger, done it again with the shield but we can get rid of that in, it look like part of the skin texture, <laughs> these shields are old and they're really getting stuck with the paint bad now. They need soaking and cleaning. You can clean these in um, solvent just to clean them up. Right, working down this one here. Just a little bit darker in here. That continues there. This is the first pass. We are going to go darker on this. Right, come up these fingers. These fingers are outlined at the top. I don't really want to do a solid black outline over the top of them. I just want to do them a little bit softer. on the fingernails. We'll sharpen these up later when they go darker. These will be going black. A little bit of roll on that finger there and on this side. A little crease there. These are like little tattoo markings. Right, that'll do for a pass on the fingers. A little bit here. And then we'll sharpen these up. Just a drop in. Here. Just dropping this highlighting on the because that's going into dark. So that's the hand in first pass. Got another fingernail here. We're going to sharpen these up. Let's do a little bit tighter off that. Uh, 
And we just need a little bit of fading here. Yep, we've got a passing on the hand. So now, let's just pan that back up a bit. We've worked the hand in, we've got this piece in, we've got the eyes in, mapped out, we've got the hair to do next, and top part of a, a sort of a jacket on a shoulder here, there's a little bit around the back where the collar is. So we'll start working the hair in, and now as you can see on this piece, I've just done pencil line shapes. Now the first thing I want to do now is, now I've got this mapped out, is just go in and take out the unwanted pencil lines that I don't want. It's a bit round near the eye. A couple of bits round near the, the fingers. Now we've got it in place. I think that'll do. That just gets rid of them. Right, I'm just going to lock this easel down in place. We'll start working on the hair from the bottom sort of up. Now these are like weaves, so I'm just going lines like this. I'm going to do this quick. Just going to do weaves like this. Just following the shapes. Dagger strokes on and off, point to points. This is what I mean by going point to point. So doing your shapes, I've got some here. Got a few more in. We're gonna build this up. And we can drop some highlights in after. Just worked it in like that. We'll do another one here. And we've got like a dark, wherever, where these meet, you've got a dark. So if you were going here, you would come up into this one. Like that. This one would be across this way and you're basically 
flicking out again from a dark centre. This will really pop when they start dropping the blacks in. Just flicking that brush out. shape flicking up off that nice one to practice for your dagger strokes this this weave that's why I picked this one because it's it's a good one to practice Gets you really moving on the trigger. Nice and quick, just building it up. Then when we go over with the next tone, which will be the black, it will really sink these edges in and then the tops will pop out. And then we can do the very highlights on the top, which will give it that roll. It's just, you're just bringing that 3D look out, but you're just building it up. So it may look messy at the minute, but when you build this up, This is a very transparent colour. It just keeps working it and working it up, just gets darker and darker, and you just get more and more of them hairlines going in. This will look really effective. So just working around like that, putting the shapes in. shapes at the back of her collar. I'm 
can just have a look. I'm going to drop this eventually in black. I'm just going to get it in place. Pop in the painting. Nice and quick, just puff in the painting. I'll just do a tone over that. Sketch it and all rough until we sharpen it up. A few little Strands of hair coming round. So that's this first pass in. Just dagger strokes. Coming off there into dark. Like that. Right, we are moving up. So we're just gonna do the same again. Do some passes like this into that hairline. Just in the painting, dagger strokes. The real white ones, we're going to go in with an artist brush and just drop these in. It's just another way you can put some highlight textures in if you're going in without being able to scratch back. If this was gesso paper, you could go in and you could scratch back all these white hair. Hair strands are really make the hair look realistic, but because we can't do that on this without trying to shield out for all your white highlights, we can drop them in after. So if you're wondering how you get your highlights in the hair, because you see everybody doing scratch back techniques to get the real sharps in, just go in with a artist brush and we can just put some little flicks in with the white, white paint over the top, not a problem. Now we've got this weave again coming down, it comes up here. So we'll just do some shapes. Coming round. And we'll do the same again. We'll just go in the centres, flick out, flick the opposite way. I'll do that top part of the hair last because we've got the easel blocking that bit. So I've got some passes round on the hair using the dagger stroke technique. Just gonna build these ones up in here, get some more 
strands coming up. And when we go over with the black, this colour will look like a highlight underneath. So we drop these strands in. Like that. Got some long ones coming down. I'm not hitting bang on on the lines. I'm not far off. Any pencil lines that are showing, drop a few more here. We can we can erase them out. Not a problem. Nice and quick. Drop a little bit more dark down this side. Just to pop this out. You can see how wet that paint is. It does dry back. Very thin paint. Let's get the paint in. Right, we've got to pass a hair in. Puff a bit of colour in there. We'll go with that. We're all sort of toned up in the first pass. Darker in here. Yeah, that will do for the first pass. Just going to line that bit there. Yeah. Right, that's the first mapped out colour. Now what we can do is we're going to just let this dry back a second and we're going to just go over, not back. Some of these pencil lines, just get them out of the way.
frame here, this one on the face here. Right, we've mapped out. So get rid of the ones here, a couple here. go in with a black I have got one here somewhere yeah and just start working this dark in give it a little test right back onto the eyes Pinch and pull on there, and we'll just start to pop these eyes out. Just makes the eyes pop that little bit more going in on the darks. She's in. It's coming in dark, that just 
darkens up here. Comes into this crease here. Same as here, just do a band along the bottom like that and then we'll just work off that dark little dagger strokes that's that bit in a little bit Recess them, darken them in a bit. Fog that up there with a little bit darker in here. Round. Like that. Just a little bit on the bottom of the nose, a little bit darker here. Drop a little bit in, a bit on this crease. There, I'm going to do a little bit coming in here. And then we can just pop this out here. side goes dark under the bottom of this thumb edge here so just shield bounce it off Bottom of the mouth. Just fade that up. Nice dark line there. A little bit here. Around here. Coming up this edge here.
All right, move on to the mouth and drop the mouth in darker. coming up A little bit along the tops and then the teeth. A fade here. Up to the bottom. Right, that's the mouth. In a little bit darker here. Coming up. I'll go over that side of the teeth, just put that in shadow. A little bit darker under here. Right guys, I've done a bit off camera and just started to roll the blacks in around the hair. You can see how it's taking shape now on the hair. You're getting the shapes. So you're doing dagger strokes on this side. This black's very, very thin. So it's building it up. And you're just creating dagger strokes going this way and this way to create that roll. As so they're rolling over each other. So this would be the first pass of black. And then we'll do a darker mix. So 
So you go, you're basically going around the same again, following the shapes. You can always put a shield up to start off from like that. To create your dark line and then come away from that and up. this side and work your way along and you're just working round going all the way up and when it comes to the top you'll do the same work this way follow the hair la hair lines and this color that's underneath just putting like a base color underneath and we're just working in like transparent working up and working up And then eventually we'll go sort of jet black and then really pop these out. This is the original colour, we're just toning back over again, drop a little bit more on these lips. A little bit more in the eyes. I'm just going over that transparent, just dropping a bit of this colour back in. So I'm going to do this one in two parts, that's the video is going to be really really long but you can see where we're going with this, where we're rolling these up and then when we get the next dark I'll go in again with a more concentrated black and I'll really fine line these hairlines coming up so they stand out really well, flicking up like that and flicking this way and it's just building them layers up and then the hair will look a lot more realistic but it just takes time working this all the way around and all in here just working this bit and then just start adding your darks just building your layers up building your layers up so what I'll do is I will see you in part two on this one We'll continue on with the hair, working all the way round. Then we'll come down into the hand. We've got the nails, the darks to put in, sharpen up all the darks in here. We've got some more darks coming across here. And then we can go in sort of near the end. And then you'll be going in with like the Posca paint pen. And we'll just be highlighting all these points. And these will really pop the eyes forward dropping all the little intricate highlights in. Just by doing this now, you're just getting that little pop on the eyes, like that. We can drop some in on the nose like that. But this will be at the end when we're gonna put all the highlights in at the end and it will just make the image pop. You'll have all your nice deep darks going in working these tones around, be a pass like this, then another pass in the hair, 
that dark will go into this, then there'll be another pass of the dark, then there'll be the highlights on the nails. You can even pop highlights in nearer the end when it comes to the teeth because there is some little highlights coming down on the teeth and at the tops of the teeth. These will all pop later on because the mouth will be going a lot darker. That's the first pass on the on the mouth. It's going to go real sharp dark in here and that will just sink that back and the teeth will pop forward. So I hope you enjoyed this first episode on this. As I say, just go in nice and light. It went in with the first tone and then we're just sort of working the tones up, building it and building it and building it up. We'll be sharpening with deeper blacks round here later on. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget if you are new to the channel, click that subscribe, press that notification and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.